Hello and welcome and welcome back if you're monitoring this uh, this channel it is a um, tutorial based research channel um, looking at our solar system okie doke right I've already done this one but I managed to uh, press pause and uh, there we go, so I only got halfway through um, so we're doing it again or I'm doing it again shall we say okay so we're looking at um, Mimas which is uh, one of Saturn's moons um, okay right so let's this is the first image we're going to be looking at um, so just pause um, loads of information about it the size and everything like that is quite a small one it's only uh, 396 kilometers uh, in diameter um, so pretty small pretty small okay um, let's just get into it as you can see okay this has been it's been flipped 90 degrees uh, clockwise um, saturation uh, some contrast and uh, some burn has been done on this uh, all the lighter areas you can see here of what, what I've actually worked on so far <clears throat> um, so basically we're just gonna we're gonna have a look I'm gonna do a little bit of work on it move on to the next color one uh, and then finish with the the black and white one and the reason I'm showing you three images is um, just to um, show you that it's not a one-off um, it's present on every photo which I've shown you in the previous um, videos as well okay so we're just going to uh, have a look around um, so you can um, Sorry, I'm not with it today. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Ah. Uh, trying to get this. Uh, there's a way to do the move tool. Where. Um, it's a lot smoother, but it doesn't look like it's happening. <laughs> okay I'll zoom in and out and I'll point some features out uh, if you can't see them already something um, which is quite unusual with this moon are the, the the craters they look like the end and then they almost cavernous um, looking it's quite odd um, but you'll notice it in the in the in the other ones as well. So uh, you can see this down here. Yeah, like I said, I think um, I think I said anyway. Probably the amount of coffee that I've drunk today. Um, I think this is the tenth moon planet that I've uh, featured, and uh, there's at least fifteen more to go. So it's insane. Here we go with one of these crater type uh, 
things. Don't really know what to call them. Um, but unusual. You'll see these on the other maps as well. These like lines. They actually look like holes to me. Um, These colours aren't real, it's uh, the images have been coloured for whatever reason, um, but these photographs are harder to work on for some reason than the uh, black and white images. This is my uh, very weak computer trying to deal with uh, what I'm doing. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on this. But if you if if you're new to this, um, the reason why I'm showing you the process I use to uh, pull these uh, anomalies out of the image uh, is to help you get used to what I'm looking at because it's all very unfamiliar stuff. Um, we're not used to looking at things like this and especially when things are very blurred you know your brain doesn't really want to look at them it has to work very hard to uh, decipher what's going on but you can see And if you wonder, the, the, these are the tools that I'm using down here. Um, and they literally, the dodge is lightened and the burn is um, darkened. And here, here, here are your shades. I don't know how it chooses them. Um, but it's a great way to... Uh, you can pinpoint areas. You can miss a hell of a lot of uh, information if you work on the the whole image, the, the image as a whole. Um, now, since I just did the last one, um, there are some things that I've noticed which uh, are quite interesting. Take note of this area here. I turn that on. Yes. Check this as well. That's what I was saying. And um, the reason I tend to um, use a few photos of the same place is um,
just to show you that uh, it's not it's not a um, a one-off. That it's um, in um, every image, basically. And if we can get a uh, a match, then uh, even better. another one of these crater things like like this one you can see the almost like slices right here I mean is is it actually a crater I don't know if you can hear kids screaming, but there's a there's a bunch of them outside. I think they're all on a having a Harry Bow session. They're pretty strange. That is my slow computer trying to catch up. If you're new to this, then this is probably going to be pretty difficult for you to understand what what I'm trying to show you um, but basically to me these look like um, Built, constructed, manufactured uh, anomalies. It's the easiest way to put it, I think.
so pause it and uh, have a look I'm going to move on to the uh, the next one now now when I did this and um, a minute ago uh, which one are we we're we're going to be looking at this one here's some info for you 23 megabyte which is uh pretty damn big for uh, these pictures as they go um, so here we are it's quite a pretty one um, I've pulled the saturation there's been some contrast and some burn put in here um, and this is of the that main feature here we go the Death Star and it's been flipped as well it just seems to work you can view everything a bit better um, this way up so again we'll have a whip through it and um, something there I want to have a look at that straight away um, when I did this about half an hour ago um, I hadn't actually done anything to it apart from the you know the 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 um, the initial saturation contrast etc so there's a lot to find in here And you'll notice the different um, qualities, clarities, as it were, of the image for reasons that I don't understand. You know, These Im images are difficult, that are very busy, there's so much going on that you can get lost, especially if you're new to this, you're not going to, uh, you're just going to see a, like an abstract painting of sorts, you know, you'll interpret it the, uh, the way anyone would, I mean we all see everything differently. Um, But when you uh, when your eye brain is um, what would you say acclimatized to what it's supposed to be looking at, then uh, these uh, features will jump out at you um, if you don't quite understand look at look at my other videos and it will uh, it will explain itself And the whole deal as well is um, anyone can do this. That is the thing about this. There's no tricks, no anything, no argument. Um, if you if you can't get your head around it, then um, give it a go.
And there's obviously a, a clear difference between this side and that side. <clears throat> But neither side are, 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 I don't think, easier to uh, notice things um, as the one. I mean, they have different, they've been uh, edited in different ways as to uh, make it just as difficult to uh, make anything out. Um, I haven't actually got the the uh, the original image as you open it up before you do anything on here, just to demonstrate um, how you would see absolutely nothing um, because of the low the low uh, pixels. So these craters are very strange. It's almost if the bottom's fallen out or or something like I don't know, it's very very odd. And just remember this area as well. I'm going to show you on. Uh, is it? Oh, it might have been on here actually. Hold on. Yeah, this area through here. You see this area here? Could well be this area here. I don't know, but it's nice to make some comparisons. That's why I like using more than one um, picture. This as well. It's almost quarry like. Oops. Yeah. So again, this this is one of those um, photographs where it it seems, or you could you could bet highly that the whole surface is covered in dense structural anomalies there's no other way to, to say it really um, with uh, no explanation of it 
and I haven't read the bump properly, so I don't know what it's describing or what what the because uh, they tend to know what the atmosphere is like and and the surface and everything like that. This is strange. Now you could probably say it's a geological or different substrate, if that's what you say, or whatever, which is uh, weathered away. This area is quite it looks quarried. That's what it looks like. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on to this one. I think I'm missing loads of stuff. I don't know if I'm coming or going today. Um, here's some uh, info about it. See, there is stuff about um, the terrain and things as well. So yeah, pause it and give it a read. Um, okay, so yep, but we're looking at that one, which is this one, I think. No, it's not actually a different one, but it doesn't matter. It's the same. It's the same moon. Um, The, um, I'll write it in the in the description. Which was well, there it is. There P I A one two five six eight. Um, on this one, I ended up putting up quite a lot of uh, contrast. It just seemed to work well. Um, but it was difficult difficult to look at. Um, it looked very distorted. Um, and I'll show you the mottling 
we'll start here and that was just where we left off on the other one um, I think there's a few people that use uh, magnifiers um, to view the screens and stuff so hopefully these are at the right uh, level for you um, but you'll notice some mottling all over the place um, so it looks like something's been dragged through it type sort of thing um, so when I started it I thought oh, it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a mess it's like on the uh, Venus one but so uh, on closer inspection I that's why we we blow them up so we can get in there and with the tools as you'll see it will make some sense out of uh, right let me find an area which hasn't been played with too much okay across here There's a lot going on. Like I said before, I mean, these are the more that go, the more that goes on, the harder you're gonna um, find these images to decipher. And the reason I'm showing you this as well is because like, it can take quite a while for you to sort of tune into what what you're actually supposed to be looking at. I'm sure to a lot of people this just looks like a a mess basically but you have to give it time you have to adjust to it people say all well, of this looks like you know pixelating there is an element of that in there because the the images come in low even though some of them look quite large and you think okay that's cool and we're not going to have to do much work here but it's basically it's a low quality image with a low dpi which they stick onto a big sheet shall we say um, 
so it doesn't necessarily mean that the, the higher the megabyte, gigabyte, kilobyte is doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get a uh, a good clarity image because they've simply just put it onto a big background that's why I end up chopping them up cropping them up which I'll show you on the next one that I'm going to be doing which is insane that's a it's another Jupiter moon I won't tell you which one it's a secret at the moment So hopefully now you're getting the idea. I'll get up in close in a minute and um something and uh, just so you can get some different perspectives So, you know, pixel anomalies, it just it doesn't, not on this scale, not on this regular regularity. There are your pixels. These individual little... If you look at some of the other videos, I'll explain a little bit about... Um, pixel anomalies and things like that, pattern noise, um, but they don't tend to group together on this scale. And form tops and sides and shadows and three dimensions and just doesn't work like that. stood out a minute ago. And I've said it before, it's uh, you 
you get used to you know, don't expect to to find anything that's familiar um to uh, what we find here on on earth and some of it is uh especially if you look at Ganymede it's, it's so alien looking it's the only way you could describe it It's a difficult, difficult one to view this. If you're not used to this sort of thing. Bear in mind, most of this you can't see. So this area here. This area here and everything in between I'll just try and point out some uh, um, prominent features shall we say tend to find lots of things like this So who's living on the Death Star then? Yeah. And this part of the uh, photograph, it actually does look like you pretty much sort of bird's eye that's what it looks like but then again we you know we're over here so I don't there is an element of um, angle perspective um, on this but not a huge amount other things to look out for are things like this This is strange as well. It's like a canopy of sorts.
So you would say they really need to um, set their cameras up correctly before they spend hundreds of millions of dollars and send them how many hundreds of millions of whatever miles so they make them a uh, trip worthwhile So I'll see if I can spot something like this and we'll try and um, pull it out. And you can see there are lots of lines and stuff everywhere. And it's funny how people say, no, that's just pixels. That's just, um, that's just bad quality. Did you hear what you just said? It shouldn't be the case. You shouldn't have to worry about that sort of thing. Something here maybe, let's have a look. So I'll just zap around quickly and just pop some of the highlights. Quickly jump in with some uh, mid tone uh, burn. crazy stuff
So we can see with this area now. You get some perspective, some depth. Um, see from the top, it's like heading towards the ground there. Now this, is that one of those holes? Or is it something? Sticking up. I don't know. something like I said before it's why I'm really reluctant to 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 label this stuff because it just puts ideas into your head and and nine times out of ten and what I mean is well when I see stuff which looks like something when when you've uh, finalized the work on it it almost always turns into something completely not what you were expecting. So because we don't know what the hell it is, you need to interpret it yourself. It's, it's part of the, part of the, uh, the journey it's uh you need to decide these things uh yourself i can prompt you how to look but um for what it actually is um i, I, I can't tell you for sure They look built, whatever it is. Even though this is a difficult image to uh, for for someone new new to this to um, to look at, try and decipher. Um, I forgot what I was saying there. This isn't one I would choose to. Uh, to start uh, investigating this stuff. Um, have a look at the other videos and um, I can't tell you off the top of my head which uh, would be good ones to start with because um, there's literally thousands of images out there you could uh, you could work on. Really just choose something that has a uh, quite dark it's easier working on a dark image is easier than working on a a light image
So there's so much to look at. So busy. And I would totally understand if you couldn't, uh, can't get to grips with this one. So yeah, um, I could uh, quite confidently bet that the whole surface is uh, covered. In um, structural anomalies, so there's uh, no other way to say it really. Okay. Amazing stuff. Oh, did I show you that? I like that one. So, um, yeah. Yet again. Unbelievable. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and um, I hope uh, you got something out of this. Um, blatantly obvious to me. Um, like I say, if you if you do have difficulties with this, have a look at the other videos, and uh, it might make more sense to you. Um, it's descriptions of the tools. There's a few uh, tutorials as well. And for those of you who are waiting for a, another tutorial, uh, it will be on the way very soon. And um, okay, there we have it. Mimus, Saturn, insane. Um, great. Okay, I will see you soon. Bye.